I'm Amanda Isaac, Associate Curator of Fine and Decorative Arts here at Mount Vernon, and I'm here today with taking a close look at a unique and original object in our collection, this crib which you see here. It's over 200 years old, and cribs like this are incredibly rare survivals. In this case, according to family tradition, this one was given by Martha Washington to her granddaughter, Nellie Park Custis Lewis. Now, Nellie uh, grew up here, she was married here, and she had her first child here. And that child was a daughter, Frances Park Lewis, who was born in November 1799, as it would turn out just a few weeks before George Washington passed away. Like cribs today, this one has open sides to allow airflow, but you'll notice that instead of slats, it has these tiny, very finely carved Doric columns. You could say it's baby's first taste of classical architecture, uh, the world of 18th century rule and proportion that it was born into. The crib's also on wheels, so you could move it anywhere you need it, near the main bed or perhaps closer to the fire so that you could warm baby up. And one side of the crib is also hinged. It comes all the way down. According to period sources, this was to render it easy to come at the child, that is, to get her in and out, and also to change the bed linens, which you probably would have needed to do on a frequent basis. Unlike cribs today, though, this is meant to look like a full-size adult bed. So you'll see at the corners the four tall posts and then the canopy structure and the curtains all around. The canopy is a reconstruction here. It's based on 1790s designs. The curtains were designed to open and close as needed to create a warmer environment again, or perhaps a darker one uh, as the child was sleeping. Ultimately though, it's a luxury piece, a presentation piece, a stage set uh, with its curtains that draw back. It's a stage on which adoring parents can present their child to the world or maybe just to family and friends. And that's how we're showing it today, to represent those few weeks of tranquil happiness, as one visitor described that time period, when the Washingtons and Lewises celebrated their new arrival.